So, Sam. Yes. You've written a new piece. I have. It's called Chamber Concerto, and it's my second violin concerto. This piece is for 14 players and solo violin. Um, and I'm, I'm particularly interested with this piece in looking at a kind of relationship between the uh, soloist and the ensemble that's less about opposition and more about cooperation. Sam, you've written this piece for Karen Gomio, um, violinist Karen Gomio. Uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about your collaboration with her. Yeah, I was in St. Louis, uh, I think three years ago, and I heard her perform the Sibelius Violin Concerto, which is uh, one of my favorite pieces. Me too. And the way that she played it was it was kind of mind-blowing. I sent her my first violin concerto and she was really excited about that piece and the rest is history. <laughs> She's able to make lines just get to the point where they, they're just about to break but never do. Um, and this was really inspiring to me. So the whole third movement of my piece really is, a, is an attempt to harness that ability that she has. So I can't wait to hear her do it. Yeah. So Elizabeth, tell us about your new piece, which is called the water cantos. You know, when I sat down to really start working on this piece, I really wanted to create a piece that was a series of portraits of these places that I seek out for my own kind of creative refuge. Two of these places that I kind of write about, I suppose, in my piece are in New Mexico and two of them are in, in Oregon. And the thing that kind of unites all of them is the way in which water manifests differently in all of these places. The piece is written for one flute, two clarinets, uh, three percussionists, piano, four cellos, and double bass. So the instrumentation actually is really born from some of the relationships that I developed with members in the orchestra and sounds that I heard uh, in the pieces that I heard so many times from being on tour with the orchestra. And in my mind, it really is sort of, you know, it's about my relationships with the musicians in the CSO, but it's also about celebrating Music Now, uh, the 20th anniversary of Music Now, because so many of these people uh, that I've written for in this piece are people who really have invested a lot of time in Music Now and um, are, are very committed to new music.